What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you saw from the title, I've got a new microphone on my hands. In fact, I was actually about to buy the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone. I was actually about to literally proceed the checkout and I said, wait a second, DJI has a microphone. On top of that, I saw the price and I was like, oh man, it's kind of expensive. But I was looking at the reviews and I was like, wait a second, let me just wait and actually do my research really quick. So I watched the video on YouTube Sam Holland, so shout out to you bro. But today we're gonna to be checking out the DJI wireless microphone. It comes with two TX microphones as well as one RX plus a charging case. This thing is a beast. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Now really quick, I just wanna go ahead and go over the price. After tax, it ran me 3.46 and 44 cents. I got it right off of Amazon. I actually ordered it today, which is April 26, 2022. You'll probably see this video the next day or probably the day after just because it has to process up to 4K. It did come within the same day. Uh, it actually, I ordered it at like two in the morning and it arrived here at 8.45 PM. So shout out to Amazon for the same day delivery. Now let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Okay, so we got the box here. Don't mind the stuff in the background. I've got to fold my clothes. I don't have to wash them. I got to fold them. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. It actually came through an Amazon Flex driver. Um, essentially what ended up happening is it actually came the route that I thought it was because I used to do Amazon delivery. So I kind of know the routes in my area still. Um, it's literally just this plastic. And then on the inside here, we've got the microphone. I thought it actually was gonna be larger. It looks larger uh, in, honestly, online. It looks a little bit larger, but that's probably in larger so detail. Uh, the box is simple. I like it. It kind of reminds me of like the Anchor boxes from, uh, if you know the company Anchor that does all the charging and whatnot for your phones and cables and whatnot, uh, it kind of reminds you of that simplicity in the box. I like that. Really reminds you of an Apple AirPods box when I think about it now. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and unravel this thing here. Let me try to just cut a little slip. There we go. All right, take that out. Again, this is what the packaging looks like just to give you all a better close up. Here's a side here, it shows some People using the microphone on a shirt uh, and then they also have with the mirrorless microphone which I'll actually be doing a little bit here DJI has their logo there then on the back it shows kind of stuff about the product and Ethernet and all this other stuff very simple box I do like it let me see actually how to open this thing so you don't slide it let's see what way you open this you have to pull this little tab right here yeah it definitely makes me think of Apple now there was a little pull tab right here all right, so let's see. It looks like it opens from the bottom here. Yep, it slides. There we go. I might zoom in for you all just a little bit. I might need to take the exposure down actually too. So this right here, let's open this up. Oh, nice. It comes with another case on top of the hard shell case. That is a nice little touch. Thank you, DJI, for that. This is going to actually come in handy, and it does show the logo. I actually like that it's not... Um, a white logo it's a great dark gray logo that's a nice touch right there this is your booklet and pamphlet and everything uh, it shows DJI mic and the paper does look a little bit yellow tinted but that's really no big deal uh, I may actually look at this later on because I want to make sure I use it correctly there is one other thing inside here in fact there's multiple things inside here oh wow I forgot that it comes with these so it comes with a dead cat that's actually a great plus on top of that you get your RX or TX cable um, that's going to be nice for when you're using your uh, mirrorless camera. You're going to actually need this because without these two prongs here, it won't actually work for your uh, mirrorless camera. So you have to have one of these uh, cables. It's nice that it comes with dead cat. So when you're outside, you can put this on the two uh, lavalier microphones. And that way, when you're interviewing someone outside, you don't have to worry about the wind or um, noise in the background or whatnot. Let's see. There's something else also in here. Okay. We got ourselves a USB-A, I can't tell, to USB Type-C, I can't believe it. Look at the times we are in now. So USB-A to USB Type-C, a nice little cable here. That's a nice touch. Really like that it comes with that. Uh, I don't know if this is for charging or, the, or, or if this is for you to uh, transfer your files because it does come with eight gigs of onboard uh, storage within the lab with your microphone as a backup. Uh, if anything was to happen. All right, so this is the microphone itself within the charging case. Let me let y'all hear this really quick. If I can do the sound right, here we go. 
All right, there you are for my ASM lovers, ASMR lovers. Oh, it feels really nice. Uh, fingerprint wise, it goes away pretty quickly as you all can kind of see, but I really like that DJI logo. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you all so you all can see that. You open it up. Man, it looks so much more tinier than I thought. I thought it was going to be more of like a bigger, like literally online, it looks like it's going to be huge. And then when I watch the videos, it also looks bigger. But this is really cool. And it's a digital OLED display. I just wanted to go ahead and point that out. It's a digital OLED display. We'll close that up really quick. Has a nice sound actually when you close it one more time. Very nice. Sounds like a booklet or something. It has a really nice rubberized, like, uh, rubbery, rigid texture. Really nice. Uh, it makes you want to grip it. I like that. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay, so you charge it in the back here. It's charging the USB ports right here. So you plug that in to charge this up. There's a little bit of LED lights right here. I don't know if you all can see that, but essentially, yeah, there it goes. It pops up. So we'll keep it like that. Let me go ahead and move some of this stuff out of the way and uh, I will talk to you all in just a little bit. All right guys, so I'm gonna give them a rundown of the specs really quick on this just so you all kind of know what to expect. It has a 15 hour battery, uh, 250 meters or 820 feet of range. On top of that, you have the OLED uh, touchscreen. I kind of showed that off, but I'll show you all in a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, you also have a magnetic attachments and then it has up to 14 hour recording with the eight gigabytes of onboard storage. One other thing, you can buy just the one TX and one RX, uh, it runs 219. So if you just need one lavalier, you can just buy the one version of this. Now, I don't think it comes with this charging case though. That's the only issue. So this is really the best bang for your buck when you think about it because you never know when you're gonna be in a situation where you actually may interview or wanna to talk to someone else. So the best way to do it is to honestly buy uh, two of these. So really quick, let me go ahead and kind of show you all what this looks like. It's actually very tiny. I actually, I just updated the uh, time and everything for it. So you can actually update your time, but it's showing, if you look, it's actually showing what it's, it's hearing it right now. Like it's pretty much instant. As you see here, it's moving the green dots. They are all magnetic charging. Actually, let's do a little test here. Okay. The magnets do feel like they're pretty light. So I wouldn't suggest, you know, having this open like this. Um, it, it, it will probably fall out. This is the mount that it comes with, as you see here. It's pretty tiny, but there's a magnetic strip on the back of here that you can actually put uh, on your uh, on your camera, and that way you can have the transmitter uh, either on the camera or you can put it somewhere else uh, in the cut. Maybe you can have it on a you can have it maybe on a desk or something for your laptop. Everything charges up in its own little module. It does come with the uh, lightning port as well as the USB Type C adapter. When you slide it up through the uh, little spot here. That's what it's gonna pop up as, and then you just put it in your phone, and that way you can hear from your phone. It'll work through your phone. So it already has the adapters that come with it. If you were to do the same thing with a Rode uh, wireless Go microphone, it's a lot more work, actually. You have to buy a whole nother cable, and it doesn't come with the cable. That's why this really is honestly the best buy when you really think about it. I do wanna let y'all know, it locks in pretty tight. When you slide it through this little uh, slot here, It it's really snug, so it is hard to get off when you want to take it off, but that's a good thing. You don't want this sliding around when you're actually trying to record. I will say this does look like it's gonna be a little fingerprint magnet, so always just have a cloth on standby. It doesn't come with a cleaning cloth, so you may just wanna to try to clean this from time to time because it is an OLED panel, but it's nice just being able to access the stuff on through a touch screen instead of just through your phone or something. It's nice being able to see everything happening live. It went to one bar now, so I am gonna to have to charge it up. So I will test it out in just a little bit here, but I just wanted to show you all the basics really quick of it. So you have your receiver here, it shows your battery for the receiver, and then you also it'll also show you the battery for your two transmitters. Again, this is one and this is two. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory as far as that. But let's go ahead and test it out. I wanna see how it sounds. Again, this is all through my uh, Rode Video Micro microphone that you're hearing now and uh, we'll go ahead and switch it over. Okay, so this is the DJI microphone. Uh, first things first, I can already tell you, it's plug and play, it's super easy to use. I can actually look from the cable and see uh, from the actual screen of how the levels are. It looks like it's pretty regular. This is my actual regular voice. I don't even have to scream, I can just talk like this to y'all. You know, it, It's so much easier without me having to strain my voice I can see that the level is 
all the way to the max. I can't wait to play this video back and actually hear how I sound without having to strain my voice. It feels so good. I'm so used to having to scream and I'm looking at it actually peaking because I'm used to it just, I'm used to having to talk like this, but I actually can chill out and I can just do this now. And I can walk around and walk around the room. I just want to let y'all know I got this from Taco Bell because I actually worked there. Um, if you're wondering how I got the sign, that's how I got the sign. This is all my fragrances right here. This is great. I just want to say this is great. I love this. I can't wait to hear the playback on this thing because I can tell you right now, I'm not using, in fact, I'll show y'all what microphone I was using. So this, this is the Rode Video Micro microphone. It's solid, it's really good if you're in close proximity. In fact, I recommend you get the uh, their shotgun one. That one's really loud from Rode. If you're looking for a really good shot, a shotgun microphone, get an Audio-Technica or a Rode one. Uh, they do really, they do very well actually. I don't know any of the other microphones that DJI has available currently, but I can tell you right now, this might be one of the best investments I've ever done for my channel in a long time. Um, I bought a lot of things for the channel uh, to make videos on, but this is honestly someone who loves technology. The fact that I'm doing this all wirelessly and I can walk around. In fact, I might take y'all with me really quick because I can open this door I wonder if y'all can hear the door opening. Y'all can probably hear the door opening, but it still picks me up all the way from about here. And I don't know if it's still picking me up right now, but if it is, that's pretty insane. Because this thing has a range of, I think they said 280 or either 250 or 280 feet. I'm all the way in my kitchen right now. In fact, I'm gonna go get something to drink. <laughs> this is crazy. Y'all heard the door close? That was the refrigerator. I'm walking back now. Can y'all still hear me? I wanna see. Yeah, y'all can still hear me, that's insane. I wanna see on the test now, if I was to walk, well, I was watching the guy Sam's video, like I said, shout out to him. I'll leave his channel in the link in the description below. He does an awesome job. I'm very glad I purchased this. This is definitely a great decision in my opinion. If you're gonna get a wireless microphone, I definitely think you should get this one. Um, it does seem like to me, it was worth it just by the fact that how plug and play it is, it's like, it's so nice to have something plug and play. On top of that, this is my favorite part. It has these adapters. Again, this is for their iPhone and then the other one's gonna be for Android for your USB type C. The best part also is that you can use this with your laptop or your uh, PC. So if I'm on my PC, I don't even have to worry about like dealing with all the audio connecting and whatnot. All I gotta do is plug this in and I'm good to go. Like that's, it makes everything so much easier. This is, this is the way to go. And it comes with the charging case. I don't even have to worry about charging now with the, you know, like I said, I'm really glad that I didn't buy the Rode Wireless Go microphone. It was a great microphone for the time being, but now that this is out, <laughs> there's like no reason to really go with the DJ, or with the uh, Rode one. At this point, it's like, I, I think the only reason I would say you probably go with the road one is because you want a certain style of the audio. But when you think about it, you can edit your audio to various degrees in post. So it's like, I, I can't really understand why you would want to get the, uh, get the road wireless go one. Uh, one other thing I did want to point out is that it does have rubber feet on the bottom here. Uh, that way when you sit it down, it is going to pick up or it won't really move around much. So if I was to sit it like, just so you all can kind of see, I know it's kind of out of frame here, but it doesn't move around at all. In fact, it's actually very grippy. So that's nice to see that. I do wish they would have put it on like the side too, just so you could like lay it on the side or something like this way or um, maybe the top, you want it upside down. I know it sounds weird, but I can't wait to go to the amusement park and test this out. Uh, I will actually be able to interview people like I want to. There is so many things that I, like this series, there's so many series that on my channel that require me to have an extra person or I want someone else to talk and I can finally do that. I can actually bring my tripod and y'all be able to hear that person and me. So it's really awesome to see that. On top of that, the fact that the charging for this is still 15 hours and the this has only one bar left. Um, that's still pretty incredible. So I don't know how much juice this holds all together, but it is fast charging from my knowledge. It does have fast charging for the 
uh, case. So that's a nice touch. I'll definitely have a full review on this in the future, but this is just my first impressions and um, I'm loving this. McDonald's, I'm loving this. Till next time, you guys. Peace out.